Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, I'm just going to post the link to the YouTube channel in the chat. So um, if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, new lessons are going out every single day. And um, I just posted a new lesson. So I'll put that link also if you're watching on Facebook. Here you go. Hello, Khan. Hi, how are you? I hope everybody is doing well. Hello, um, Jaweed. Hello, Emily. Hello, Mahmoud. Hello, hello. Hello, Jose. Tedetwin, hello. Jade. How is everybody? I hope you are all doing well. We're going to learn some new um, phrasal verbs again today. Okay. Hello. Nice to see you also. Hi, Joshua, Devashka, hello from Ecuador, from Myanmar, hi. Okay, I'm doing well, I hope you guys are too. So we're gonna jump into the lesson. Um, uh, if you have time after this lesson, I posted another um, new lesson on YouTube. So if you wanna check that out, um, please go ahead. Hi from Thailand, Sudan. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, Tete Win, I will check your comment. Okay, so we have more phrasal verbs using head today, head. So um, yesterday we talked about head over and come over, right? Head over and come over. Both of them had over. Today we're gonna focus on phrasal verbs using head head okay hello nice to see everyone wow i will come back from china wow hello from peru awesome morocco see we're all so international that's amazing okay so here are the three phrasal verbs that we're gonna learn today okay so we have head up head down and head out so we're going to use, um, we're going to learn how to use these and in like what situations we can use these phrasal verbs, okay? So first, um, head up, head up. So head up has two main meanings. So the first one is head up could mean head up north, right? So head up north or um, head up could be head upstairs. So if you are on the first floor of a building, um, you could say, I'm gonna head up to the sixth floor, right? Head up, head up, okay? So literally it means up. <laughs> so it could be north or um, could be a few floors up in a building. So head up. We can also use head up in a business setting. So if you head up a meeting or if you head up a team, that means that you are the leader. You are in charge, okay? Head up. Um, I'm going to head up the team from next week or I'm going to head up the meeting um, today at three o'clock. Head up. I'm in charge. I'm going to be the leader, okay? Have you ever headed up a meeting before? Uh, I think I did, I think I headed up some meetings when I was in high school. It's a lot of hard work, right? A lot of pressure to head up, okay? Next we have head down, head down. So this um, literally means down. So for example, head down south head down south. We usually use it with the direction south. Or um, if you are on the top floor of a building and you're going to go down maybe to the first floor or the second floor, I'll head down in a little bit. I'll head down. So it's actually the direction down, okay? So head up is north or just up head down is south or just down, okay? So uh, the next one is head out, head out. 
So this one has uh, two main meanings that we use. So like head up is for north, head down is for south. And if you head out, which direction do you think you're gonna go if you head out? Okay. So head out, um, head out we're gonna use with east and west. Okay, so head out east head out west. We can also use head out for just leaving. Oh, very good, Devashka, very good, west. Okay, um, so head out we can also use for just leaving, leaving. So if I'm at home and uh, I'm going to leave, I can say I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out, okay? So I'm going to head out uh, tonight at 9 p.m., okay? Or if you're at work, if you're working with um, your coworkers and, oh, it's five o'clock, time to leave, you can say, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. That means I'm gonna leave, okay? Okay, very, very good. So um, we're, uh, if you have questions, um, I'm going to take the questions at the end, okay? So um, if I missed your question, please uh, write it at the end of this lesson and I'll try and answer it, okay? So um, let's look at our questions and you can see the definitions written out again, okay? So head up. Head up means go north or go up, basically go up, or be in charge of something. So you might know if you are the head of something, that means you're the leader. So if you head up something, you are in charge of it. You are the leader of something, okay? Then we have head down. Head down just means um, to go down or to go south, okay? Oh, very good. Okay, and head out means um, go east or west, go east or west, or simply to leave. So I'm going to head out at 9 p.m. Okay, I'm going to head out east. I'm going to head out west. So um, I'm from Wisconsin. So I could say I'm going to head out to California. That means I'm going to go west to California. I'm going to head up to Canada. I'm going to head down to Florida, okay? It all depends where you are, okay? So let's try and answer these questions together. And then um, after we finish these, I'll answer your questions, okay? So let's see. Number one, he's going to mm -hmm, our project. Number one. Oh, very good. I saw you. Okay, he's going to mm -hmm, our project. Yes, the first, I think you mean the first and the second, they are opposite. Yes, go north, go south. Oh, Devashka, very good. I'm going to head out to Japan. Awesome. Okay, oh, very good, everybody. Jose, Patel. Very good, Ali. So I'm going, or he's going to head up our project. He's going to head up our project. That means he's going to be in charge of our project. He's going to be the main person. He's going to be the leader, okay? Very good. Okay, awesome. Number two. I'm at home now, but I'll mm -mm, soon. Oh, very good. I see people are on oh, number two. Very good. Abdo, very good. Very good. Jane. Hello from Sudan. Very good. Sujon. Sujon. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry. Oh, very good. Devashka, very good. Patel, okay. I'm at home now, but I'll head out soon. Very good, I'll head out soon. So I often say this to my friends. 
So if I'm supposed to meet my friends, uh, maybe I'm a little bit late, they'll call me. Hey, where are you? We're almost at the restaurant. Ah, I'm at home now, but I'll head out soon. I'll head out, I'll leave my house soon. Okay, very good. Okay, hello from Cambodia. Okay, number three. We're mm -hmm, self for the winter. Ooh, I know a lot of people like to mm -hmm, south for the winter because sometimes in the north it's very cold. So if you go down south, it is a lot warmer. Okay, oh, very good, Devashka. Hello from Ethiopia. Hello from Colombia. Okay, yeah, if you have any questions, um, I'll answer them at the end. So please type them after I finish. Yes, very good. Ali, Patel, Abdo, nice job, Kachen, Jose. Yes, very good. We're, so we are, so if we are using we are, we're, we're going to use we're heading, it's our future plan, or we're doing it now, we're heading down south for the winter. We're heading down south for the winter. Awesome. Very, very good. Okay. We're heading down for the winter. We're heading down south. So we could replace south with a place. So for example, if you are, um, for example, I'm from Wisconsin. So Wisconsin is very, very north of the US. And um, if I, if I, if I go anywhere, basically I'm heading down. So head down to Florida, head down to Texas, head down to, um, I don't know, Ohio, Chicago, okay? Head down, okay? So it depends where you are, right? Number four, I live in the US, but I sometimes, mm hmm to Canada to see my friends. Number four. I live in the US, but I sometimes, mm hmm to Canada to see my friends. Okay, who can get number four? Oh, very good. Devashka, uh, Rudinoe, Befekadu, very good. Jose, Patel, good job. This is an easy one. If I'm in the US and I, mm hmm to Canada, I'm going to uh, head, up. So I live in the US, but I sometimes head up to Canada. I head up to Canada. Very good. Okay. And the last one, number five, she mm -hmm, west for a new job. She west for a new job. Hmm. Okay, who can get number five? So she mm -hmm, west for a new job, number five. Oh, very good. How can I say your name? Befekadu, <laughs> did I say it right? Tino, good job. Patel, Kachen, Aliawan. Emily, very good. Okay, Khan, very good. So she, um, we could say it in uh, the present tense, she heads, or we could say it in the past tense, she headed. Let's use past tense. She headed out west for a new job. Because we're talking about west, we're gonna head out. Head out west, head out east, okay? Very good. Oh, it's okay if you're late, don't worry, I'll answer some questions, okay? So let's just review for anyone who's just coming in. So head up means go north or be in charge of something. So you could head up, head up north, head up to Canada, um, or uh, head up to the sixth floor of a building or the 10th floor of a building, head up to the roof, or you could head up a meeting, head up a team, head up a project, that means you're in charge, okay? Head down means 
um, go south or literally down. So I'll head down, uh, I'll head down to Florida. I'll head down to Mexico, okay? Then uh, head out, go east or west or just leave. So I'm going to head out to California. I'll head out to Japan um, or I'll leave my house. I'll head out, I'll head out, okay? Very good. Okay, so if you have some questions, I will answer them, okay? I'll answer them the best I can. Oh no, did you miss the lesson? It's okay. Um, let me read these one more time and then I'll answer some questions. So number one, he's going to head up our project. That means he's going to lead, he's going to be in charge. Number two, I'm at home now but I'll head out soon. That means I'll leave my house soon. Uh, number three, we're heading down south for the winter. Head down south. I live in the US, but I sometimes head up to Canada, head up the direction up to see my friends. Then number five, she headed out west for a new job. So head out east or west. Okay, so I'll answer some questions. Uh, let's see. Okay, I saw one. I saw one. Where was it? Okay, I saw a question that I wanted to answer. Oh, here we go. Uh, what's the meaning of hand over? Hand over. So if you hand over something, that means uh, you give somebody something. Um, a lot of the times we use it um, kind of like forcefully, forcefully, or maybe you don't want to give something, but you have to. So um, for example, hand over power. So like in an election, um, for example, Trump lost the election. Now he has to hand over power to Biden, right? He has to hand over, he has to give it. Or um, so, or for example, uh, maybe if, if you have a young child who is playing on their smartphone, um, but it's time to eat dinner, a parent might say, all right, hand over your phone, hand over your phone, give me your phone, okay? I hope that makes sense. Very good. I'll pick you up at your house. I'm heading out right now. Perfect, very, very good. I'll pick you up at your house. I'm leaving right now. I'm heading out right now. Very good. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? What is, what is means head over? So what does head over mean? So head over. Oh, I think, yeah, that was from last lesson, head over. Um, we actually did it in our last lesson. Head over means to go somewhere. I'll head over to your house. I'll head over to the store. I will go, go somewhere, okay? Okay, what does it mean pitch in? What does pitch in mean? Pitch in means um, help, help, so, um, for example, um, you should pitch in around the house, means you should help around the house, maybe help cleaning up. Um, it, for paying for something, um, everybody pitch in $10. So that means everybody will give $10, okay? I'm going to head up a new project. Very good, very good, okay? I'm heading up to the airport to work. Yes, very good. If the airport is in the north direction of you, you can say head up. Very good. So um, that also, we also use it for, um, uh, for example, I'm going to head up to the store. I'm gonna head down to the gym, okay? So if you kind of know where um, something is in the direction of you, if you know that the store is kind of north or your gym is south, you can use head up or head down. 
it's very useful. You'll hear a lot of Americans saying that sometimes it's not even the right direction, but they'll say it. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let's see. I'm heading to your place right now. Very good. So right should be R-I-G-H-T, right now. I'm heading to your place right now. Yes. So you can you don't need to use heading out um, or heading over. You can just say, I'm heading to your place right now. That is also acceptable. Okay. Let's see. Oh, watching from Tennessee. Hello. Are you a native English speaker? <laughs> what is the difference between heading to and head up? Oh, this is a good question. So heading to can be anywhere. I'm heading to California. I'm heading to Canada. I'm heading to Florida. I'm heading to your house. I'm heading to the store. Head up has to do with direction, direction. So. If you're, if you're going somewhere north, specifically north, right? So I'll head up to Canada or um, I'll head up uh, to the roof, I'll head up. So um, we just kind of use both of them. So uh, head to a place um, is very general. Head up is more specifically in that direction, okay? I'm heading out to buy some groceries. Yes, perfect, very good. So that means you're going to leave your house and you're gonna buy some groceries. Very, very good. My friend wants to head out me for a new job. My friend wants to head out me for a new job because she really wants to come over me to her job. Ah, I see, I see. So usually head out, follows um is followed by a place um so head out west or head out um head out somewhere right or um what else, what else did you say come over you we can just say head out and come over but we usually don't put a person after head out or come over so my friend wants to head out for a new job because she really wants to come over me to her job. I see, she wants me to come over to her job. Is that what you mean? She wants me to come over to her job. So, um, and also we don't use head out to mean quit. It means physically leaving, leaving a place. So maybe for a short time, okay? Oh, this is an interesting question. <laughs> fat chance, what does it mean? Um, so if somebody says fat chance, this is very, very casual English. This is a slang uh, expression. So if someone says, um, let's see, hey, can I borrow um, $200? And somebody says fat chance, it's kind of like saying no way, no way. There is no chance I will give you $200. So it just means no way, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm heading out to go office. Oh, very good. So you could just say, I'm heading out to the office, the office. I'm heading out to the office. Or you could say, I'm heading out to go to the office. But I think most naturally, I'm heading out to I'm heading out to the office, okay? At this moment, I am heading down to downtown. Ah, very good. Yeah, we could usually just say, um, I'm heading downtown is okay. I'm heading, so if you say I'm heading down to downtown, it's kind of double, right, double down. So um, I would suggest just using downtown is okay. I'm heading, you could say, I'm heading downtown, okay? So let's see. Very good. 
Okay, maybe I'll answer one more. Oh, Devashka said, uh, what is the difference between I recover and I'm much better? So um, if you have already recovered, we would say I recovered in past tense. I recovered, I'm better now, I recovered. So I recovered and I'm much better are basically the same. Um, I would say I recovered is more, um, what would you say, more uh, fo formal English. Um, I'm much better is very conversational. I'm much better now, thank you for asking. Okay, but they, they mean about the same. So if somebody was sick, like I was sick, I could say I, I recovered, but uh, I, I typically wouldn't say that in conversation. I would say, oh, I'm much better now. I'm fine. I'm doing great. Um, you can also use uh, recover for like any illness. So uh, she recovered from the car accident. She recovered from the flu. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm heading up to Japan tomorrow. Yes, very good. What an, that's an excellent sentence. So if you are below Japan, you can say I'm heading up. So maybe somebody in Australia would say I'm heading up to Japan tomorrow. Very good. Somebody on the east or west of Japan would say I'm heading out to Japan. Okay. Then, uh, oh, okay, I'm heading out to Argentina tonight. Very good, very good. I head down to Pennsylvania to do my job. Awesome, very good. I head down to Pennsylvania to do my job, okay, or for my job, yes. All right, so um, if you have any more questions, um, I'll try and answer them the best I can. Also, um, remember that uh, new uh, YouTube lessons are going out every single day. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, watch those lessons also. Um, it's good to review them. And um, I will be back tomorrow with another lesson. So sorry, I've got to go now. Um, but yeah, if you have some questions, I'll do my best to answer them or I'll make another video. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow with a Facebook Live lesson and a YouTube lesson. Okay, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and um, I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. All right, see you guys later. Bye.